are many different editing techniques that you can use to mix up your content and make it stand out. This week we're going to look at two of the most popular, the J-cut and the L-cut. Many industry professionals call them split edits, but put simply, J and L cuts are effectively scene transitions from one shot to another. They get their name from the shape they make on the editing timeline. So let's talk these through and see why we would use them in our video projects. When we start editing video, we're accustomed to using this simple cut transition where one video ends and another begins. With this cut transition, you can see when I play my project through, the visuals and the audio of our first clip end together at the same time before the audio and visuals of the second clip starts to play, like this. we can see one clip plays directly after the other. Now let's take a look at those same clips using the L-cut and J-cut transitions. You can see here that in these split edits, the audio and visuals on at least one of the clips are separated from each other, meaning we can control the elements individually. So let's start by taking a look at the L-cut. An L-cut transition is where the audio from clip one carries on to clip two, even though the video from clip one has already finished. This means that while your audience can no longer see what's happening in clip one, they can still hear it while they're watching clip two. L cuts can be used in different ways. For example, to make a scene linger, adding tension to the content. They can also often be seen in news packages, where we have a journalist talking about a story, describing the clips we see on screen. Or perhaps an editor might use it at the end of a film in the closing credits, leaving viewers on a dramatic cliffhanger. The L cut will give the feeling that the story doesn't quite end after the credits roll. A J cut, as you can see here, is the opposite, where the audio from the second clip starts playing while the first clip is still on screen. The visuals here haven't finished yet, but we get a taste of what's to come in the next scene through the audio, enabling your viewer to hear what's happening in clip two before they see it. These J cuts are often used as leads into a visual, which often means you can create suspense or intrigue of what's to come. That's often why you see J cuts used in opening scenes of films or TV shows, so the viewer locks eyes on the screen from the get-go, wondering what's to come that they can hear, but they can't see. Both J and L cuts are great for linking conversations together, where for example, we might be shooting two people chatting with two different cameras. J cuts and L cuts means we can capture expressions and reactions on screen to the other person talking, hiding where the dialogue tracks switch and making the overall piece feel more warm, natural and realistic than simply editing with hard cuts. Is something wrong? With what? With anything. Is that what you're asking me? Is there something wrong with anything? Will it be anything else? You already asked me that. Creating a J cut or L cut yourself isn't tricky, but does take a little practice. Unlike a fade, wipe or push, J and L cuts cannot be dragged and dropped from your media library. Instead, you have to manually create them in the timeline yourself. This is because, as we've seen, the audio and visuals in J and L cuts shift at different times. So to do this, get started by finding the clips you'd like to edit together and place them next to each other on the timeline. There are a few ways to create a J-cut, which is to have the end visuals of clip one play over the start of the audio of clip two, but the simplest I find is to detach the audio of the second clip with three taps like this, one, two, three, and drag the trimming handles for clip two to the right along your timeline. Notice that as long as your timeline is in this magnetic insert mode, clip one will follow clip two, creating this J-shape. We can adjust the clip as we feel necessary time and time again. And here we can see we have a lovely J cut. Alternatively, if you want to create an L cut, that is to have the audio of clip one playing out over the start of clip two, 
detach the audio of the first clip and then drag the video backwards along the timeline. Again, you can make any adjustments to your satisfaction if you have to make any changes when you play your video back on that preview screen. Notice now you have that L shape on your timeline, that's the L cut, and the end of the audio for clip one plays during the start of the visuals for clip two. If on any J or L cut, you don't like two pieces of audio playing at the same time here, you can always detach the audio of the other clip and trim accordingly or even add a crossfade transition to blend the two into each other. The best thing to do is experiment with your clips and see which gives you the best look and feel for the story you're trying to tell. So have a go with these on your current projects and see how they can help you become more creative. If you have any questions at all, as always, please do pop them in the comments below. Remember for in-person training, you can join our LumaTouch classes for live practical training on Zoom, which you can do from the comfort of your own living room. Just head over to luma-touch.com forward slash academy for our upcoming classes in a variety of time zones. That's all from me over here at the LumaTouch Academy. I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.